Hans Holbein the Younger was a German and Swiss artist and printmaker who worked in the Northern Renaissance style. He is best known as one of the greatest portraitists of the 16th century. He also produced religious art, satire, and Reformation propaganda, and made a significant contribution to the history of book design. He's called the Younger to distinguish him from his father, Hans Holbein the Elder, an accomplished painter of the late Gothic school. Holbein the Younger traveled to England in 1526 in search of work with a recommendation from Erasmus of Rotterdam. He was welcomed into the humanist circle of Thomas More, where he quickly built a high reputation. After returning to Basel for four years, he resumed his career in England in 1532. This time, he worked under the patronage of Anne Boleyn and Thomas Cromwell. By 1535, he was king's painter to King Henry VIII. In this role, he produced not only portraits and festive decorations, but designs for jewelry, plate, and other precious objects. His portraits of the royal family and nobles are a record of the court in the years when Henry was asserting his supremacy over the English church. Holbein has also been described as the great one-off of art history, since he founded no school. The subjects of Holbein's The Ambassadors are Jean de Dintvy, French ambassador to England, and his friend Georges de Selve, who acted on several occasions as French ambassador to Venice, the Pope, and to England, Germany, and Spain. The upper shelf of the painting is concerned with the heavens and includes a celestial globe, a portable sundial, and various other instruments used for understanding the heavens and measuring time, while the lower shelf reflects the affairs of the world, holds musical instruments, a hymn book, and a book of arithmetic. The first step of the process was to set up the camera in my dad's office. Next, we had to rearrange some of his furniture in order to frame the picture. We had to stack piles of magazines under each leg of the table in order to make it tall enough for us to rest our elbows on. We started adding the most prominent props to the table, like the tablecloth and the stringed instrument. Then we scoured my house for anything that we thought would be appropriate to add to the table. And there we have our tableau vivant, the ambassadors. <laughs> but we weren't done there. With the help of some trusty photo editing, we made the ambassadors look as close to the original as we possibly could. Trust me.